We have the camera inside the tunnels underneath the house. What is inside with the camera going a little bit further in? Hello everybody. The event season is over, which means we're back to getting through some of the projects that we started before the season. And one of the most important ones is the hidden tunnels that are underneath this property. You might have seen in a previous video, we looked through some history, some local people, some people that used to look after the grounds here and photos that I've been given regarding tunnels, which are underneath this place. While fitting some pipe work, for the septic tank some time ago. They dug a small trench to be able to dig underneath the foundations ever so slightly and put some pipe work through. As they started digging that small trench, one on the left where the caretaker had said, don't park anything heavy, started to fall in. And obviously they had to explore it a bit more to make sure it was actually safe to do what they were doing. They started uncovering it, moved some rather large granite lintels and uncovered a vaulted ceiling a brick vaulted ceiling that was right there that they opened up, got a ladder down and could go down inside. Now, I have been told reliably by somebody that used to come here as a kid, before the war, you could get in those tunnels, after, you couldn't. It does give a timeline as to when they were closed. The other thing is, thanks to one of you fantastic viewers out there noticing something in that video, I think there could be enough of a hole to get a small camera down there. That's what we're gonna to do today. We're going to start in this room here, our wood panel TV room, which is directly on the other side of the property to the entrance which was uncovered before. So in one of the rooms, which we don't use much at the moment, hence storing some chairs, and I've got something that we can have a look at and explore a bit more. What I have is I have a little hole in the floor here, which, just about see down through. So you use this, which is a little camera with some lights, which is bendable. And we're gonna get through that hole and see if we can see anything which will point us in the right direction. So I have to get the other camera out because this connects to my phone. So we've got this. And you can see that? Can you see that? There we go, see, there's a camera pointed at you. So that's all working. We can see what's on the screen. Yeah. And let's see what's in that hole. And more importantly, if there's any evidence of those hidden tunnels this far across, as we've been told they were, from this angle. Well, what have we got? Uh, is that the, so that's the bottom of the floor? Well, that's the bottom of the beam, the joist, but that's straight into rubble. The floor. There would have been a gap underneath, an air gap underneath these, because otherwise the beams rot. I mean, that goes to explain quite a lot. So nothing under the TV room floor that can be seen other than soil and debris right up to the base of the joist in that room, which it shouldn't be. There should be an air gap, it's a sprung floor. Um, that only leaves us with more questions rather than the answers. So it's time to look at the tunnel entrance that we know is there, and let's see if we can get a camera down there and see if we can get into the tunnel. So, right in that far corner, I don't know how well you can see, but down there, it looks like a little hole, and that's what I'm going to try and get this camera through. There it goes, right back there. Trying to get this through the hole is really difficult to then focus and get anything decent. It's full of cobwebs and nasty corners where it's right up against the granite. But you can see there's a big black expanse there, which is what I want to get into. 
Now, this is a really a drain inspection camera or for around the back of engines, that sort of thing. It's really, I mean, it's only a cheap one. It's got a little light on the, on the front, which is obviously helpful and adjustable. The only issue that we're gonna come across here is trying to get it around what isn't a particularly straight and smooth edges because these are designed to when they hit corners to be able to push around easily and I don't want to damage the lens but let's see how far down we can get and see what we can see I would love to be able to see a big open expanse or even what's down there oh, we're squeezing everything around the corners we're getting down past the you see the brick of this entrance and then we're going past the rubble that's been used to fill it in. <sighs> There's a cobwebs in the way. Oh, I almost saw that then. I can see it, I know it's right there. I just saw that expanse. Uh, hang on, that's it, isn't it? That's it. You can see where the entrance, that drops away. Oh, I can't get through the spider's web. Yeah. That big black hole there, that's where it drops away. That's where the light can't get to it. It's too far away. That right there is the tunnel. That's where all of this infill goes away. It didn't fill it up. This is about two foot underneath the house. That's, that is the tunnel. That is the tunnel right there. I've never been so excited about just a big expanse of black that's poorly lit, but that is the tunnel. It's two foot under the house. That's as far back as they could backfill. And that large black expanse is where the light from that small camera cannot light up the sides. We have literally got eyes on that tunnel. Let's try to open that up a bit, eh? Because that's... Well, it's not open. Come on. So I've opened it up. I've got that rock out of the way. Found some fragments there of a plate. I mean, this is nothing of value. It's just what's used to seal this stuff up. Now, opened up that hole there much more. Maybe that camera can go down in a straight line now and get a better view. Oh, it's a little easier. It's a bit straighter. And we're still a load of cobwebs and just black. Let's get past the cobwebs. Well, that's it, isn't it? I've just, there's the stone that's filling it in and there's the big drop. That's, it's open. That is the open tunnel. Because of the sharp edges and the difficulty in trying to get it around that, I can't get that camera any further down. Plus with that huge expanse of dark, that little light will not light it up. We won't be able to see anymore. So we've got a couple of options. We can try to dig out gently through that air hole, the stuff that's there and try and make the hole a little bit bigger, try and get the camera down there. But we'd have to try to get a bigger camera down because of the light needed. But we have proven that here where the van's parked and where those photos show the entrance to that tunnel before, that is all that's been filled in because two feet underneath the house is an open expanse. It's wide open because all they've done is backfill it from the front and then leave it there. That's fantastic and it does mean I really, really, really want to get in there now because it's not supporting the house. It is not all the way under with miles of it filled in and an old abandoned tunnel. This is an open tunnel which was closed up really, really quickly just before the Germans left in World War II. That has got to be exciting. It's got to be something that I need to see in and I can't wait to show you inside there. So I'm gonna make my plans now to get into it and get it open to show you. 